What is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new fucking video. Okay, so as you guys can tell, it is very early. It's like 4.30ish right now. And I gotta get ready because I'm gonna be at the LA Fit Expo Saturday and Sunday with the whole entire The Next Group. But yeah, I gotta get ready because I have a flight to catch. So I will see you guys whenever I'm done getting ready. Okay guys, I'm done getting ready, and I'm gonna be honest, I didn't even sleep. Like, it's, look at, 4.33. It's 4.33 in the morning, and I dead ass like, didn't even sleep, to be honest. It was around like 2 a.m., I think, and I packed literally last minute. It took me... Oh, I had a whole week to pack and I procrastinated so bad so Two hours ago is whenever I started packing and around 2 I was like, you know what bro? I'm gonna just stay up and not sleep. So I literally did not sleep at all and Now we're going to the airport. So we're gonna see how it goes I'm most likely gonna sleep on the plane. So it doesn't even matter. You guys are probably wondering How come in the beginning of the video you looked all tired then? Well, okay when I say I didn't sleep at all, like, I mean I didn't get that much sleep. I probably got like 30 minutes of sleep, and that's honestly nothing. So, that's what I meant by I didn't sleep at all. So, that doesn't count, okay? It is gonna be cold at the airport. It's always freaking cold at, at Hobby Airport. Like, every single time I go there, it's always cold. So, I'll be rocking a nice jacket. And LA weather is pretty gloomy the rest of the weekend. It's not gonna be raining, I hope. It says it's gonna be cloudy. Oh, it's gonna be cloudy. I did check before I decided to pack everything, so hopefully the weather clears up by Sunday and Saturday. You know, I'm actually really, really excited about this expo thing, and the main reason why is because I get to meet some of you guys. Like, this is my first ever time, you know, going to some kind of event like this. So it's going to be really cool just to be like in the environment of different influencers and different brands and stuff like that. And mainly seeing you guys. Like if, even if it's just, I don't know, five people, I'll still be really happy because I've never actually met any supporters, you know, in real life before. So it's going to be really cool to meet. It'll be really cool to meet some of you guys. And even if it's just five people or something like that. I really don't care. I'm just really happy that I got to meet some of y'all. But anyways, I gotta get to the airport because I got a flight to catch. So I will see y'all either at the airport if I decide to film or in LA. So yeah. I'm not gonna lie guys. I think not sleeping was the right move because I feel amazing. <laughs> so yeah. But I'm, I'm gonna most likely be sleeping on the plane the whole time. So it's not a problem. All right guys, we have landed. And I'm walking to the LA, LA. Have you ever had a dreams that that you um you had? LAX it thingy. I don't know what it is for, but it's basically for like pick, like Ubers pick you up. Usually, I just have the Ubers pick me up from like the terminals, but I guess they changed it to where there's a spot specifically for Ubers to pick you up. So that's where I'm walking to now. And then I'm gonna Uber to the B&B, and luckily it's only four minutes away, so I'll see you guys there. All right, guys, y'all are gonna try and see me do this stupid challenge or whatever. I just decided to try it on the stairs just because I'm bored. And this is like a pre warm up before the actual workout. It's mainly for a video, so basically what I'm trying to do is these stairs. One handstand push up, walk down. Another handstand push up, and then walk down. Another handstand push up. And the last one, you do another handstand push-up. I just attempted it twice. I know I can do it, it's just the balance factor is off. So we're gonna keep trying until we get it.
So your arms are straight like that. Go down, like curl press. You know? Yeah, like that. You can bend your leg if you want. And then just unwrap them. So when you do it like that, you have no range of motion. Go that, go down. Yeah. And then go down. Even even when you go down here, go down. Like that. See, there's more of like a, a rep there. I'm gonna do it. Go. But you're coming down with your arms straight. Now bend your arms. Yeah, like that, dude. See, there's more range of motion in your arms too. Uh, especially if you bend your legs, there'll be more range of motion too. First set's always a <laughs> set. <laughs> After that run too. Well, we did rest, but fatigueness, you know? Yeah. Like, if you rest too long, and then you're already like... You're cold. Yeah, you just yeah. like, fuck. Worst. Alright, so I was, I was telling you, like, sometimes I'll go like this. I'll put them, like, close, my hands closer together to emphasize, like, it's more on my triceps and shit. Mm. And then, like, once I start getting fatigued, I'll put my hands wider. Yeah. <clears throat> Alright, I'll do it without it, like, tight, because I gotta warm up first, so. I'll do it like this, and I'll put it close and then I'll go back right Oh my gosh, nope, no hold. The balance, right? You switch from wider to tight. Changes. Go. Was that five? That I five think five. so, but you should you should press, like, you bring your arms back down once you're at the top. Because you're, you you're, doing, you're doing the concentric, but you're not doing the eccentric. Or on some of the reps, you're you mean not. you mean bend it when I go down? Yeah, like bring yourself down. Thank you again. I'm so used to doing straight. Look. Press up. Oh my press, gosh! Wait. That press was... down. <sighs> oh, like that? Yeah. Like that. Because you just get more out of the rep, you know? Yeah. Because it's like a half push up and then down, right? Yeah. Let me see if I can do it for this one. Just for the first rep, though. Pretty sure you can. Yeah. I decided to tap because I was like, I wasn't tapping, and I was like, oh, the range of motion is not as far. So I'll just fucking tap a bit more. I get more range of motion, so I get a little bit more out of There's it. There's like pros and cons, because when you don't touch the ground with your feet, all the tension is is still like your I'm muscles. Too high on the shoulders. Yeah. Yeah, but when you lower down to touch, the, you know, you come down more into like your abs, your lats. And your arms too. Your arms, triceps. Only for the first rep, right? Don't touch the ground. Or if you want to do more. If you feel good, just keep going. The whole point is to get as low as where you first started. Like right there. Oh my gosh, my head says no ball. Yeah. I'm doing that one. This is an old school move and drill I used to do like way back in the days, bro. Like the next video days. 2016, 2015. Actually, I used to do that shit even before that. Like, Cal Science guys would do bro. Dang it. Doing good, man. Bam. 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 Oi. 
Sick. What set is this? That's my third. Guys, this workout is actually a little challenging. Like, I'm actually, I'm actually dead right now. But we're gonna keep pushing it because we gotta go to the very end. All right, guys. So right now we're doing this three-three. Like, I just came up with it: three-second tuck planche hold, and then three-three tuck planche push-ups. We're trying not to kill ourselves because we do have to stay strong for the Fit Expo tomorrow because we're going to be doing stuff. So we're trying not to kill ourselves right now. We're just doing like a light, small workout. That's challenging, but it's also like less challenging, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it won't leave us sore. Yeah. I just want to be able to do at least planche tomorrow, to be honest. Yeah. All right, guys, we're about to finish with the workout. I didn't film the rest of the workout after the last clip you saw, only because we did way too many exercises after that. And we're both, the last exercise that we just did, which was, we basically switched off. We each did five sets. And basically what we did was, we did 20 bench dips. After that, we did five one-arm push-ups on each arm. So basically I was doing push-ups while Chris was doing dips and then once we both finished we switched and then we did that for five sets each and I think we're about to finish off with some push-ups and then that's it for right now actually and then after that we're gonna go eat so this is a really great workout I'm just happy to be here with my boy you know and we're just hanging out working out so yeah and also this is a very nice Airbnb Look at it, they got a whole pool and everything. That's what I was doing the tuck planche push-ups a while ago and I almost fell. <laughs> oh my god. You got the same thing. Bro. Uh, this place, this is right by the B and B and Chris told me to try it out. So we're gonna try it right now. The steak looks amazing though. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. I'll see you guys later. I'm gonna eat this. Alright guys, we're back at the B&B. We just finished eating. Um, the food was amazing overall. Like, that was an amazing brunch. The steak, the eggs, those potatoes, that toast. Oh my gosh, that shit was so good. I think we're just gonna chill for now. It's only four, and I got here around, I think, nine or 10. So today has been a pretty good day overall. I think we're just gonna, yeah, we're probably just gonna chill here until Stefan and Oswaldo get back, and then we'll see what we do from there. But I'm just gonna watch pickleball videos for now. We're probably taking a nap because I'm not gonna lie, while we were chilling and I was rewatching some footage on the camera, I was like, I was like falling asleep while rewatching some of the footage. It was so freaking weird. Like, I don't know what was going on. I'm just gonna chill and watch pickleball videos. And I'll pick up the camera whenever, whenever we do something interesting. 
Alright guys, it is around 1am right now, and I need to go to sleep because I gotta wake up early to go to the convention center with Stefan. We gotta go there early in the morning because we have to film some stuff, so that's why I'm going to sleep early. But yeah, I'm gonna end the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry, this video was like all over the place. I just filmed like random ass shit, so I hope you enjoyed that. And as always, if you stay to the point of this video, make sure to comment I like cheese. And, and I will see y'all in the next video, which is going to be the LA FedExpo video. I love you guys so much, and I will see y'all in the next one. I right, love you guys. Peace out.